Good afternoon, Sharks. I'm Brandon, and I, I just moved back uh, to Las Vegas, Nevada from Austin, Texas, and I lived a pretty act active lifestyle back there. And of course, I brought my lifestyle back here. Uh, but the problem was going to, this, to uh, the parks was there wasn't a lot of people there playing soccer, and I'm a soccer junkie. And the problem was I couldn't find anybody at all. Um, so eventually over the summer, I met a group of friends uh, who were like-minded and loved soccer as well. Uh, but we all agreed that, agreed that it was hard to organize and even get the skilled players to play a game of soccer. Um, so if someone is new to the sporting community, it's pretty hard to get your foot in the door. Uh, so example, my friend Hetzel over here, he, uh, he's pretty new to sports and he would like to start playing. Uh, but one of the best ways to learn for somebody to play is to play with other people. Um, but the problem is if he goes to the park, what if no one's there? And the other issue would be is if he is if he shows up and there's a game going on, one of the biggest issues is that his skill or lack of skill uh, won't be accepted into the game and he won't even be able to participate. Now on the other end of the spectrum, we have Dee Dee over here who's a very good volleyball player and she would like to take her game up to the next level. Uh, she's tired of beating up other people around her neighborhood, but she wants to go and compete in a tournament. And the issue there is that she doesn't even know where to start to look for a tournament. Uh, that is why me and my friends created our uh, group, I mean our app huddle, and our company called Group Free. Thank you. Uh, my name is Shishun. I'm going to talk about the purpose of the huddle. So by using our app, you can easily find a partner who, are, who has the same interest in sport as you do. There is no need to worry about uh, playing against a player who has more skill, who has more skill than you do, because our roster system will verify users' information and create an e-profile for every user. The e-profile will help uh, our system to decide what kind of partner you will have in the game. So we want to make sure everyone having fun and uh, fair competition. So how it works, we have three different, uh, we have many different, uh, we have, so we have different options for users to start, to start their own game. First of all, you can create your own one, and the second one, you can find the uh, find one around you. So everyone, you can also search your sport by typing your uh, zip code. Or you, or you can even type in the keyword you want to meet. So you even can type in the keyword you want to meet at the vote. So for now, we test our app in many different universities. So most of the users are young adults. Uh, it is an excellent tool for them to explain their sports interests. Uh, and meet the people who enjoy the game. Um, during the test, we found the people from the senior group are also showing a high interest in our apps because fitness is essential for everyone. It helps us to sleep well, eat well, and live in a high health lifestyle. So our app is not only a social tool to help you to find a new friend, but also find a, make our make fitness more interesting. So first we will talk about the uh, app details about how it works. Hello everybody, my name is Christian. Um, our incredible team of designers and engineers have spent the last several months creating Huddle and curating and optimizing the application so that we can create the best experience for users who love sports and users who want to get into sports. So how to use Huddle? So to use Huddle you simply install it on from the Apple App Store or the Android Play Store and then change the slide for me. Uh, you're brought to uh, our homepage once you fill in all your preferences uh, and general information. Um, we ask for things like what sports you like to play, what sort of physique you have, what sort of skill you have, and all of these help us to create uh, an e-profile that will help us curate uh, games just for you. So let's say I want to play basketball. Um, I have several options from the home screen. I can find a game uh, that is happening right now or that is happening at a later time. I can host the game, uh, and I can get people to join my game as, uh, as it's going on or as it will be going on. I can look for leagues if I'm a skilled player. Uh, I can join a team and get into league play. Or if I want to play for cash, I can go on to our tournament section where uh, we sponsor with uh, venues and we work to make the, the sports community much more competitive. So let's say I click find a game. From find a game, uh, I have these options. Right now, we currently have hockey, baseball, 
uh, basketball, soccer, and football as our available sports. We do want to expand uh, our sports and also the locations that we offer them in. Um, from here, you have the option to search by venue. So if you have a specific venue that uh, you like and you uh, visit often, you can look to see what games are occurring at that venue. You can also search for live games. Those are games that are happening right now. Uh, people um, can host live games and they will ask for players if they still need some. Um, or you can click Find a Game, which uh, our app will help to curate a stack of games that you can pick from. So let's say I click Find a Game, um, and you will get a stack very similar to dating profiles like Tinder and other popular dating websites. Um, and you can scroll through and swipe uh, the games that you want. Uh, for each game, we have the, the actual game, the number of players, uh, the location and time that it's taking place in. And here we have indication of how many players uh, are needed. Um, and from here, you can either join or skip a game and then continue on through that process. Now let's say I, I don't want to do this and I just want to see what games are happening right now, see if anything is interesting. I can also click on live games um, on our previous uh, page, and it'll take me to this page. It's sort of like a, a social aspect to our application, and you can see what games are going on right now. Uh, in this screen, uh, people are playing soccer. Um, you can see they're all playing at the Silver Bowl Park, and there are several people that uh, need more players. There's a game going on that's a seven, seven versus seven, they need a couple players, and uh, Edsel, who's the host, um, he, he actually said to, uh, to come through, we, you know, we don't need two experienced players and we're going to be here until later. So this, <laughs> this helps people find games much quicker and it helps them um, find the games that they want. Alright, so the number of sports fans in the world number in the billions. People have a love for sport and for competition and fun, of course. Now, soccer itself has a, uh, an estimated fan base that number in the hundreds of millions. And by giving these users the ability to create and join games at no cost to them, uh, wherever they are, will allow us to tap into a specific market uh, and a specific audience and uh, allow ourselves to take a share of the online meetup market. There are other apps uh, like Meetup, which allow people to organize and join events. Uh, but these apps are very limited. Um, they do have a sports section, but the, uh, but the sports section um, only allows you to share your interests in the sport. It doesn't allow you to make actual games to be able to play with other people. Uh, we separate, separate ourselves from the competition by giving uh, our users simplicity and streamlining their experience. Now, target audience will not just include sports fans, but anyone who's looking, in, uh, looking into getting into sports and people who just want to live a more active and healthy lifestyle. Now, this can include young people um, wishing to expand their knowledge on sports, or it could uh, include more veteran individuals like Didi, who are, uh, who's hoping to get uh, into more engaging and uh, wholesome athletic experiences. Now, I'll pass it over to Didi, who will explain uh, our market valuation. All right, so since this app will venture a substantial amount of money, um, will we ask for uh, $50 million for 10% equity to continue the valuation of this project? And we can get an A. Um, and I want to just give some statistics. Um, Google dominates the mobile market with over um, 900 million users, uh, while Apple falls with 600 million iOS devices purchased, and Microsoft with uh, third place with estimated around 12 million uh, Windows phone sold. So the vast majority of these, um, or the vast majority of those will be 25% of all of our users who facilitate the, the use of our app um, with these um, companies. So the idea um, is at the end of all of the calculations, um, we will be summed up about having a, um, a total income with uh, $100,000 and we think we, you should fund our app because one, it's fast and cheap. Two, our app is developed in-house, which just means that the situation the company uses their own workers or in-house team to develop or implement this app. Um, and we further expedite with the agile process or the agile development process, which helps us make the or helps us go into the market faster. 
And the, basically the Agile software development process is um, meet, plan, design, develop, test, and evaluate. And since our develops, developers work in an Agile process, the quality and caliber of the app will allow us to use the um, time and material cost to uh, or in any future work uh, because it will establish an easier way to accomplish our goal. Um, this company has made over uh, 1.2 million gross sales with uh, 700,000 users who constantly use this app. Uh, we make money off of um, ad revenue and selling our app to companies such as Google, Microsoft, and Apple to put on their um, online app store. And we also make a considerable amount of cash uh, from venues, games, tournaments, and we also have a sponsor, which is Tropical Smooth Cafe.